What's going on YouTube family? This is your man Pristine back with another video. Welcome to the full Pristine review for the Moto Edge Plus. Now I'm a little late on this one, but hey, it's better late than never. So uh, without further ado, let's get it. Now the Moto Edge Plus, this device came out last year in 2020. It was released on May 14th of 2020. This, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, had to have been the best and like I said, in my opinion, this was the best flagship that was released in 2020. Now we had a lot of activity going on in 2020. We had a lot of devices that came out, a lot of great devices that came out in all three categories, whether it be budget, mid-range and flagship. But pertaining to flagships, this to me has to be one of the best flagships in 2020. I think it was one of the most slept on flagships that came out in 2020. Um, if you recall Motorola, they kind of went on a little hiatus from making flagships and they just focused mainly on their budget and their mid-range offering. So within a three or four year time span, Motorola was just chilling on the whole flagship concept. And like I said, they were just focusing on budget and mid-range. So the Moto Edge Plus here was the first flagship that Motorola had released in a three or four year time span. And it was a good one. Now, the price when the phone came out, it first came out, it was uh, exclusive to Verizon or the Motorola website. Um, I went and just bought it outright from Verizon. The phone was $1,000. It was $9.99 plus taxes. So I think out the door, I paid like a $1,040 and some change or whatever. Um, and uh, again, the, the street release date was May 14th. And I've had this phone ever since, uh, ever since then. And, um, you know, it's taken me a little bit. Uh, but here we are finally with the full pristine review. So let's go. I'm um, just going to read off the specs real quick just to give you guys a quick reminder in case you forgot. Or if you didn't know anything about this device, then pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Let's travel down memory lane a little bit. All right. Now, we have a 6.7 inch 1080 by 2340 OLED HDR plus display with a 95.8 screen to body ratio. We've got a 19.5 by nine aspect ratio. We've got a 385 PPI pixel density. This phone weighs 203 grams, uh, 7.16 ounces, and it's got Gorilla Glass uh, five in the front and the back with an uh, aluminum frame. Okay, now the internal specifications, you know, we've got all the latest 2020 specs. We got the Snapdragon 865 SoC chip. We have an octa-core CPU. We've got an Adreno 650, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage that cannot be expanded. Android 10, and there is no IP rating. This phone is, it's just splash resistant. So you probably don't want to get this device wet. All right, now in the camera department, um, we've got, uh, well, I'll talk about that a little bit later in the, you know, when I focus on the cameras, but you know, that's what we're rocking with as far as the screen dimensions, the screen resolution and the internal specifications. What does that mean? That means that this phone is an absolute beast. We do have the 90 Hertz uh, screen refresh rate. I don't believe we have 120. Um, but I mean, you know, the, the higher refresh rate, uh, definitely works great. Again, you know, it gives you the ability to just get that buttery smooth scrolling experience or pretty much anything that you do with this device. It's just going to move. It's super responsive to the touch. And, um, you know, I mean, you scroll slowly, it's going to scroll slowly. You scroll fast. I mean, it loads up everything very swiftly. And, um, as you can see, you know, just like a hot knife through butter. All right. Now, again, the build quality, again, Corning Grill Glass 5 on the front and the back with an aluminum frame. Now, one of the main things that I love, I love about this phone, too, is the aspect ratio. It's a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. It's a little taller, but it's thinner. It's not a very wide phone. You know, I've got super small hands. And so, you know, you can see it's very easy for me to to uh, to cuff this phone and basically handle it and wield it in one hand without any problems at all whatsoever. Um and so I'm a huge fan of the build quality and just, you know, the ease of use. I mean, just how easy it is to grip the phone. Now, again, you want to protect it because, I mean, it's glass on the front and back. You can see the beautiful color. Uh, but it only came in one color, unfortunately, which is this thunder gray. But it's like a bluish gray. This is absolutely beautiful, in my personal opinion. And I love the fact that it's got that waterfall display. Like some people don't like that. You see how the display just bleeds over the corners, you know, on both the right and the left side and so you know it sounds like motorola they've taken a little bit of a page out of samsung's playbook and uh you know they made a very very stunning 
looking device. Um, so, you know, I, I, I give the, uh, the build quality an A+. You know, I'm very uh, attracted to good looking things. You know, I mean, you know, cosmetics, you know, mean something to me. And I just love the way that this phone looks. It's a little bit different. It's a little sleeker. You know, this is definitely one of those devices that you're not going to see a bunch of people with. You know what I mean? And so it's just good to have something different, something that's powerful. This phone is Marshawn Lynch status. It's an absolute beast. It's going to do exactly what you need to do in an absolute hurry. Um, so that brings me to my next topic, performance. How does it perform? Well, I just told you, like Marshawn Lynch, beast mode. All right. Now, right now I'm connected to my Wi-Fi at home. You know, I do have my Verizon um, uh, SIM card in the device, but for whatever reason at my home, I don't get a good signal with Verizon. So I've got it connected to my, um, my Wi-Fi at home. My internet connection is very strong. It's a really good connection. So things are going to be super fast. Um, it is a 5G enabled device as well. And I know that what 5G is attempting to do is to try to bring you network speeds that are just as strong and powerful and fast as a, a good Wi-Fi speed. And so, you know, the phone is 5G enabled. And so you may see some differences with, you know, with, you know, uploading, downloading content um, and all that kind of thing. But as you can see in Spotify, it just loads it right up and, you know, no problems there. I mean, here we are and um, in SoundCloud. Same thing. No, no issues at all whatsoever. As I go through SoundCloud, we'll pop into YouTube real quick. You can see YouTube is just going to pop right up. I see my man Marquez. He's already got another video up. Um, so I have to check him out. What you see there, I mean, as it loads up, no problems at all whatsoever. Um, I think you guys get the idea. You know, we'll just pop into Amazon real quick, see what's going on. Yeah, you guys get the whole idea. You know, you hold up. To get to your recents, you see how buttery smooth and seamless that that was. Um, if I want to go back into SoundCloud, it takes me right there without, without having to reload the page. Um, if I want to go back to Spotify, boom, it takes me right there, you know, without having to reload the page. Um, everything is just, you know, it's got 12 gigs of RAM. The phone, it has 12 gigs of RAM. I mean, so, you know, pretty much anything that you throw at this phone, anything, anything, Hardcore gaming, you know, several apps open at the same time. You will not crush this phone. You will not see any kind of lag, any kind of stuttering, no glitches, nothing. Everything is buttery smooth. I told you this phone was on Mar Marshawn Lynch status, right? 12 gigs of RAM. Come on, man. You know, like I said, I mean, some of you guys may gripe about the fact that it doesn't have memory expansion, but I mean, 256, you know, gigabytes of storage. I mean, that's 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 more than enough. For your average consumer all right now the cameras on the front of this bad boy right here i love the little punch hole camera look you know i'm a fan of that look some people slam it you know some people oh when you're watching content you know who wants to see this little black dot in the corner well usually whenever i'm watching content on this device i mean i don't even recognize the little hole there you know i mean so i just you know i mean I don't want to sit there and say that it's not something that people shouldn't have an issue with because, I mean, hey, you know, different strokes for different folks. I mean, some people are going to like it. Some people aren't going to mind it. Other people are going to hate it. But for me, I mean, I don't mind that that's there. It's not a bother. It's not a bother at all to me whatsoever, whether it just be like this or if I'm watching content. It's, it's just it doesn't bother me. It's not a big deal. All right. But 25 megapixel selfie sensor. Now on the rear. We've got three lenses here and I've got my little cheat sheet here. So we've got the main camera is a 108 megapixel wide sensor uh, with an F 1.33 um, uh, aperture. We've got an eight megapixel telephoto lens with three time optical zoom, PDAF and optical image stabilization. And then oh, actually we've got four sensors. We've got a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor and then we've got a um a 3d time of flight depth sensor and i think that's like a i think that depth sensor is uh is is a two megapixel sensor if i'm not mistaken and we've got um uh oh okay that's the time of flight sensor now on this device we can't record at 8k but we can record at 6k 
at 30 frames per second. And then of course, you know, we got 1080p at, uh, at 30, 60 or 240 frames per second. And then on the front camera, the 25 megapixel sensor, you can shoot with 4K. Um, that's an f2.0 wide sensor, the 25 megapixel sensor that's right here. And you do have 4K recording um, at 30 frames per second or 1080p HDR recording at 30 or 60 FPS. Um, so, you know, stay tuned at the end of this video, I'm gonna have the dedicated camera review and you know, timestamps are available down below. So if you just wanna to skip to that, then just get down in the description box and click on the time spot or uh, timestamp that says camera and it'll take you right to where that, where that footage begins. All right, the cameras on this phone are absolutely amazing. I've taken some unbelievable photos with this camera. Don't let Samsung fool you into believing that they're the first company to put a 108 megapixel sensor on a device. I understand that the Moto, uh, the Moto, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is actually coming out this Friday because today is the 27th of January. It comes out on the 29th, which is in two days. And so stay tuned because I'm going to have that as well. And I'll be doing the unboxing, camera review, full review, you know, the whole bit. You know how I do. Um, but uh, Motorola, you know, they, they, they put the 108 megapixel sensor on the rear. And I believe when you just point and shoot, it takes a 64 megapixel image, but then you have a 108 megapixel mode. And so it's just a little button that you can click in the camera app. Things are super, super, super sharp and super detailed. All right. And then I believe you've got, I think you've got a hundred times zoom. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, you could zo the, the zoom capability on this phone is nuts, right? And, and it's amazing because the closer you zoom in and you could be really, really far away and zoom in on a subject and the clarity, you do lose some resolution the more you zoom in. But still, the clarity that you have once you're all the way zoomed in on that subject from afar is pretty remarkable. But the thing is, you lose stabilization. And so, you know, I noticed that while I was recording footage while I was zoomed in all the way, that OIS was a little finicky and things just weren't as sharp as they were, you know, without being zoomed in so close. So that's just something to be mindful of if you want to use that, um, that zoom capability. But it is there and it does work well. You just got to hold the phone super still. All right. So again, in the video, that's when the dedicated camera review is going to roll. Um, and so, you know, stay tuned for that. Now, battery life. We've got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery on this phone. Five comma zero, 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 5,000. You got a beast of a battery in this device. What's that mean? That means that you're gonna get easily two, two and a half, if not three days of battery life on a single charge, depending on how you use your device, right? This is solely on how you use your device. I know a lot of people that get in the screen on time and all that type of stuff. I don't do that because I just tell you straight up, man, ain't, ain't no whammies. I ain't got no reason to lie to you. This phone, I've taken this phone with me on many a days, work days, days where I was just up, you know, taking it off the charger, out of the house, you know, ripping and running here and there all day, gone for hours, using it heavy, talking, texting, streaming music, streaming YouTube videos, you know, all that kind of thing. You know, I typically don't download movies and stuff like that to my device, and I've always been more of a moderate of light to moderate user when it comes to my phone. And so I, you know, I'm just typically, I don't, I'm not hard on my phones. Um, and I keep things turned off, you know, so I do my own battery optimizations. If I'm not using Bluetooth, I have Bluetooth turned off. If I'm not using Wi-Fi, I have Wi-Fi turned off. If I'm not using GPS, I have GPS turned off. If I don't need, you know, my emails, all four of my emails, you know, you know, uh, 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 giving me notifications Every second that I get a new email, I turn auto sync off because those things fry your battery. And a lot of people don't really seem to understand that concept. They have these things on and they don't realize that they're on. They forget to turn them off. And it's like when those things are on, if your Wi-Fi is on, your phone is constantly searching for a Wi-Fi connection to connect to. If your Bluetooth is on, your phone is constantly searching for a Bluetooth device to connect to. Okay. Those things kill your battery. They, de they just absolutely obliterate your battery. So, I mean, if you're having battery issues with your device, then you may want to start being more attentive to what you have on versus what you have off, because that's definitely going to help pay dividends to the type of battery life and sustainability that you're going to be able to have. And this device, ladies and gentlemen, 
It's got that staying power. You know what I'm saying? Like Barry White status. You know what I'm saying? I got uh staying power. Woo! Uh, y'all young boy don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Google Barry White, stay in power. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I have to sing it to you. Yeah, yeah. All right, now, <laughs> moving right along. Additional features. Well, some of the marquee things that I love about Motorola is, for one, I mean, just the dual stereo speakers. Now, Motorola had said that these speakers were the absolute loudest speakers on any smartphone. There's a speaker on the bottom here that's bottom firing. And there's a speaker up top. Okay. These speakers rock. They rock. You know, I, you know, I've heard some phones that sound good that have dual stereo speakers. And typically I don't really make a big deal about this because I am not the one to listen to music content on my device. I'm all wireless with everything. So I'm always connected to a Bluetooth device. Either be my, my, my AirPods, you know, I got, you know, the new Samsung Galaxy Buds live, you know, the Bluetooth that's in my ear right now, the Plantronics 5200 uh, uh, Voyager Legend. Um, you know, I, I, I just always got something in my ear to be able to listen to content. I'm never listening to content from my phone. But if I was the type to do that, the sound from this phone is so humongous. It is unreal. And I don't really think that Motorola lied to us when they told us that these speakers are some of the loudest because they rock. They rock. Matter of fact, here, look, let me. Let me give you a little demonstration. Let me go to one of my videos on YouTube. Okay, hold up. All right, so, you know, this is one of my previous videos that I just recently uploaded on the iPhone 12. And toward the end of the video, I had the, the camera review. And, you know, I, typically when I'm rolling my still shot images, I always like to throw a little bit of, a, a little musical heaven for your ears. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why you enjoy the content. I mean, so, you know, I threw a little reggae up on this joint. Now, check these out. And this ain't even turned all the way up. All right, but let's get it. That is tremendous sound coming from these speakers. Bottom firing. I've got the bottom firing speaker covered. So that sound coming from the earpiece. Okay, and I'm gonna take my finger off this speaker. You know what I'm saying? A little reggae action. Uh. All right. Yeah. The, these 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 speakers they just they rock. They rock. There's no other way to describe it. These speakers they rock. That's one of the features that I love about this particular device. We do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top. I mean, so, you know, for those of you that still like the plug in with the 3.5, Motorola kept you in mind. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how many flagships are we seeing nowadays with, with headphone jacks on them? Not very many. You know, so, I mean, you know, that's a, that's a good addition for, you know, there's a lot of audio files out there, you know, that haven't quite transitioned over to the wireless route. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know, having that, having that jack up there, you know what I mean? Rather than having to just go the Type-C route and having to carry an additional, uh, 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 you know, the little dongle for the Type-C, you know, that plugs into the bottom, but on the other end, it has the 3.5 port. Well, that's a, that's an additional accessory that you got to carry around. You know what I'm saying? And it's very small. It's flimsy. It's lightweight. It's very easy to misplace. I mean, so the fact that you got a headphone jack on this device, I love the fact that Motorola was mindful of those that haven't quite made the transition yet to, to total wireless like I have. <laughs> you know, now 
of course, you know, just some of the more notable things, um, you know, the quick flick of the wrist, that's going to get you to your camera. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get to your selfie camera, then you flick your wrist again a couple times and boom, you know what I'm saying? It takes you to your, your selfie camera. And, oh man, that's just looking so pristine, baby. Oh Lord, have mercy. You know what I'm saying? We'll go ahead and close that out. And then one of the most, one of the most, the best features that I love about this device is that chop chop to turn on that flashlight. You know what I'm saying? If it's dark out, you need a quick light, give it two chops. This light is super bright. You know what I'm saying? You go light up some things with this LED. You know what I mean? You saw that just chop it a couple times. If you want to turn it off, same motion, chop, chop, turns it off. I mean, those are just, those are, those are just some of the more notable things that I love about the phone and, and the features that it possesses. Um, there's a ton of other things that it does. Um, but, uh, yeah, those are just some of my favorite features on the Moto Edge Plus. Um, so, my final thoughts on this device, ladies and gentlemen, again, I feel like this has to be one of the most slept on flagships of 2020, but yet one of the best flagships of 2020. And there was a lot of them, but Motorola is definitely in the conversation from the features, how, how feature packed this phone is, from the aesthetics, the cosmetics, the build. The camera, goodness gracious, I mean, the camera is beautiful. Stay tuned because that camera review is getting ready to roll here momentarily, all right? Um, now, again, the price, like I said, I got it day one, you know, so I had to come out full price. Like I said, the phone was a thousand bucks plus taxes, but the good thing about buying this phone right now, if you're interested in this offering, is it's almost been a year. Like I said, this phone came out May 14th of 2020. Now we're still in January 2021, so it hasn't been quite a year yet, but this phone has been on the market for a while, which means that you're probably going to be able to get it at a discounted price. I mean, so if you can get it at a cool $599, $699 or something like that, oh, you're winning. You are winning by getting it. I mean, if you can get it cheaper, you're winning. You know what I'm saying? That's a W for you, not an L. And I feel, I feel as though this device was worth every penny that I paid for it. You know what I mean? Um, and you see, I still have the device. A lot of times, you know, I get these devices and I, you know, you know, I got my little operation as to how I get these phones in and, 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 and get them out to keep new ones coming in. You know what I'm saying? I don't quite have, you know, manufacturer sponsorship just yet. You know, I get companies, you know, sending me cases and, 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 and smart watches and Bluetooth headphones and stuff like that, which is cool, you know, appreciation, you know, so stay tuned because I got a lot of that content coming as well. But I mean, companies ain't sending me phones for review just yet. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta stay on my hustle, man, and do what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? To keep these joints coming in. Cause all these phones you see on my channel, I'm buying with my own hard earned cash. You understand? So, um, man, get this phone y'all. Don't sleep on it. It's a great device. And I understand that they got the new Moto Edge Plus 2 or something like that. I just saw something a couple of days ago, but a new Moto, I guess the successor to this device is supposed to be coming out pretty soon. Now it's released right now over in the China and Asian markets. It hasn't quite made its way over to North America yet, but stay tuned because I'm gonna get that for a fact. Um, because I, I'm like, you know, I don't really see how, how much they can really improve this device. So it's going to be interesting to see with the exception of the fact that it's going to have the new processor. Um, it said that that, that processor is going to be the Snapdragon 870 rather than the Snapdragon 888, uh, which, you know, the year 2021, the Snapdragon 888 is the flagship SOC chip. You know what I mean? But they're saying that this new Motorola uh, uh, Edge S2 is going to have the Snapdragon 870. So you know, still a flagship caliber processor, you know, it's, it's, it's five, five, you know, five points higher than the 865 that's in this. I mean, so we're still talking about flagship status, um, 5G enabled, of course. I mean, so, you know, I'm really looking forward to get my hands on that, you know, whenever it does come, you know, this side to North America. So stay tuned, a lot more content coming. And that's all I got, ladies and gents, for the Motorola Edge Plus. If you like this video, you already know, give it that thumbs up. Or if you weren't feeling it, Give it that thumbs down. There ain't no stress, no pressure. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
Be sure to hit me with any questions, comments, or feedback down below in the comment section because that's where I'll be posted up at. Hit that notifications bell, you know, to uh, to get notified whenever I open, you know, post new videos and subscribe, baby. You know what I'm saying? I mean, check out my whole catalog. You know, I got a slew of videos just like this one. You know, a lot of different content. If you're in the market for a new smartphone, I got a lot of good stuff for you. A lot of good options to choose from. All right. So, um, yeah, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. So, again, you already know. Uh, uh, thanks for letting me, you know, bend your ear for a little bit. Much love to all of my subscribers. Thank you for my, uh, my old timers that have been rocking with me for a while. All the new subs. I thank you so very much for your subscription. I'm happy that you stumbled across my channel and there was something about it that warranted your description, your uh, subscription. It helps out the channel greatly. It helps support your boy pristine. And I do this, you know, to do these videos to help you guys make an informed decision on what your next smartphone purchase is going to be. All right. That's the whole reason why I do that. That's my drive. That's my motivation. I'm just trying to help y'all. All right. I ain't trying to get, you know, I ain't really in it for the monetary gain or none of that. I'm just trying to help someone. You know what I'm saying? So um, that said, you already know, please stay safe, get spiritually fit and uh, <laughs> keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. Camera footage rolling. Peace, y'all. What's going on, y'all? It's your man, Pristine. All right. So real quick, first off, Thank you guys so very much for checking out the full pristine review for the Moto Edge Plus um, and listening to my reasons as to why I think that that phone was the absolute best flagship in 2020. Definitely the most slept on flagship in 2020 in my personal opinion. Now, um, getting on with the camera review, um, I just wanted to say to you guys real quick, um, the footage that you are getting ready to see, uh, this footage was captured from the downtown Seattle area right after the whole uh, George Floyd murder. And, um, you know, I don't want to get it confused. And you know, murder, murder was exactly what it was. And so, you know, the George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, the Ahmaud Arbery, you know, after those murders had taken place and those, those, those beautiful souls were taken from us um, uh, in the fashion that they were, you know, there was a lot of civil unrest going on all over the country, seemingly. You know, you had BLM movement going on. You had a lot of people out there from different races, na uh, nations, colors, creeds, um, uh, uh, showing acts of solidarity out there. And, you know, some cats was out there, you know, tearing things up out there. You know what I'm saying? And um, and so, uh, you know, I was uh, in the downtown area at the time, you know, with this phone, you know, a lot of that footage, most of that footage was all captured with this device. I'm actually, I'm recording, I'm recording with the device right now. This is the 25 megapixel selfie sensor on the Moto Edge Plus, and as you can see, things look amazing. So um, I just wanted to say that um, some of the video footage that you're getting ready to see, you know, I was able to capture a lot of the civil unrest out there. Some of the things may, you know, be disturbing. Um, some of the things that people were saying, some of the signs that people were holding up, uh, certain language that was written on buildings, you know, can be a little, uh, you know, a little inappropriate, you know what I mean? So, you know, if you got little kids or whatever, you know, <laughs> you know, I guess parental advisory, you know, explicit content, I guess. Um, but um, initially when I made the video, one of the main reasons why I, I, I made it in that video was made, the camera review for this phone was made with a lot of anger. And, um, you know, I really felt some kind of way at the time, especially being a black man in America. Yes, I am a black man. <laughs> and, you know, don't let the skin pigmentation fool you. You know, both my, both my parents are African-American. Um, so I know a lot of people question like, okay, well, what is this guy, you know? Um, and I see a lot of you cats making racist, racist remarks in the comments, you know, I'm gonna I'm pray for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even bother responding to you and your disrespect. Um, but um, I'm very proud of what I am and I'll never hide what I am. You understand that? So um, now that, you know, some time has gone by, even though I still have a major problem with the way that black folks are treated in this country, um, and the movement is still definitely moving strong and going and we're still fighting for change, you know, for black people and just minorities, period, in this country. Uh, I'm a little bit more at ease with, uh, uh, with, with, with showing this content. But again, you know, I had to take the video down and scrap it because it was made with a lot of anger. And, um, you know, I think that at the time, you know, I may have said some things that might have been offensive to some and I don't ever want to do that. So, you know, just in case you guys are wondering, okay, well, man, it's almost a year later, you know, why is he showing this footage right now? Well, that's why. Um, but um, again, you know, the footage that you're getting ready to see, it was all captured with the Moto Edge Plus here. Um, a lot of that stuff was documented. Um, 
you know, just to show a lot of the stuff that was going on out there and that showed the, 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 the real potential of, uh, of, this, of this particular camera. So that said, I'm going to go ahead and roll the footage. I hope you guys enjoy and you guys already know, please stay safe, get spiritually fit, and keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Man, y'all, downtown Seattle, look at this shit. They came down here and tore this bitch up last night, man. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, brother Floyd. Look at all this shit. Still going crazy down here. Tore up the Old Navy. The Gap. Antifa talking about the in Bellevue right now to tear it up. It's crazy. Hopefully we can keep things peaceful. Head back to the pristine mobile real quick. Yeah, this police brutality gotta stop. The systemic racism's gotta stop. The cats is fed up, man. You know what I'm saying? Moving along with the protest. What's this cat doing, man? Yeah, this is crazy. All right, y'all. So hopefully we coming up on a peaceful protest out here. There's been a lot of violence and chaos going on these last few days.
All right, y'all. So we got a protest going on here. Clap a cop. Keep it peaceful out there. Cops are throwing flashbangs and yeah, crazy. You guys be careful down there. They're throwing, they're down there throwing flashbangs. Crowds are mobbing, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just oh, yeah. be be safe out here. Damn, that was intense. 
know what I'm saying, down here in Seattle, over here by the colleges, SU, big protest. Looked like it appeared to be a peaceful protest. Um, I'm just driving around the city, documenting, documenting a lot of the activity going on behind this police brutality and uh, just, you know, taking photos of and documenting a lot of the, the damage and the destruction that's going on and just really just trying to see what it really is for a lot of these people that are out here protesting. And uh, yeah, as you guys saw or about to see in this video, you know, I walked up and wasn't quite sure how rowdy things were until I got closer to it. And, uh, you know, I'm always one to stay in the background, man. I'm not right there on the front lines, man, of any kind of problems or beef or drama. You know what I'm saying? When I was younger, you always wanted to be in the mix. But that was when I was young and stupid. You see what I'm saying? I'm 41 years old now, man. I got a wife, three kids. So a lot of the reckless decisions that I made back then, I can't be making now as a grown man with real deal responsibilities. And so a lot of times if I see something, a fight or any kind of altercation, I'm out the way, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll leave it to the young cats because I done been there and done it. So I seen a couple of them cats moving back and I'm like, up. Oh, Something's about to pop off. And uh, sure indeed, police wasn't playing because I guess they was up there being forceful on that front line and they started letting go flashbangs and all that kind of crazy stuff. And I'm like, yo, I'm out of here. I mean, you guys saw the, you guys saw the, you know, saw the, saw the crowd scattering and heard the loud booms. They were just throwing flashbangs out there to clear the, to clear the crowd because it was getting rowdy out there. So, um, Man, at that point, I'm like, yo, it's time for me to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, all this in the wake of police police brutality. This has been an ongoing issue for years and years and years. It's got to come to a head, man. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, George Floyd and all the other fallen women and men by the hands of the police. It's your man, Pristine. Again, all footage has been documented by the Moto Edge Plus. What's going on, y'all? This is your man, Pristine. All right, so here is the rear camera system for the Moto Edge Plus. Now, we've got a quad camera system here. We've got a 108 megapixel wide primary sensor. We've got an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with three time optical zoom. We've got a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor and we've got a 3D time of flight depth sensor. Now, it's unclear as to what the megapixel count is for that time of flight depth sensor, but it is present on the rear of this device. And so, um, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, crystal clear, sharp detail, color accuracy, it is all here, ladies and gentlemen. This, this camera is absolutely stunning in my personal opinion. Now, I am definitely ecstatic to see Motorola back in the flagship aspect of things. This is their first flagship device in a three-year time span. They took a little bit of time off from making flagships, and they devoted more of their attention towards the budget and the mid-range offerings. And so, again, here in 2020, we finally get Motorola, uh, Motorola back in the game with making flagships and you can see there we've got the the yellow tape down here at the park still closed off you know they still don't want people down here playing at the parks for you know the COVID-19 social distancing and all that kind of thing uh, but you know oftentimes I like to come down here it's just good to shoot down here get out of the house a little bit you know my house is right up the street um, but uh yeah man you know now of course, this being a flagship device and this device competing with the likes of Samsung and Apple, of course, we're going to have all the bells and whistles. We've got electronic and um, we've got optical image stabilization and electronic image stabilization. Uh, you know, we've got pro mode, portrait mode, night mode. Um, uh, it is an AI enabled camera, you know, so the camera can do like scene detection and stuff like that. Pretty much a lot of the things that you would find on your typical flagship devices in 2020 is featured here on the Moto Edge Plus. 
So sound off in the comments what you guys think about the rear camera here on the Moto Edge Plus. Now I'm gonna stop this footage and I'm gonna turn around and get some video footage of the selfie camera and I'm gonna close the video out. All right, all right. All right, y'all, so this is the 25 megapixel selfie camera on the Moto Edge Plus. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, what you, what you want me to say? I mean, from what I can tell in the viewfinder, things are nice and crystal clear. Like I said, color accuracy is just, oh, it's just, oh, it's just spot on. I mean, it's just, oh, man, this is, this is, this is so good, man from Motorola, you know what I mean? I was blown away by the camera on the Moto Z4, and I know that I did some camera comparisons with the Moto Z4 versus the Pixel 3a, and a lot of you guys were blown away by the camera performance, I mean, because they were either like right there neck and neck, or some of those photos, or a lot of them, they looked a little bit better than the Pixel. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so this is really no surprise to me because that Moto Z4 camera was excellent, and I knew that Motorola was gonna do nothing but improve upon you know what they did there and so to me ladies and gentlemen i mean this 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 is dope man i mean look at the look at the sky in the background i mean just the the attention to detail to the clouds the trees and just like the these little branches and oh man this is this is beautiful this is beautiful man this is definitely competing with the heavy hitters now you can get this phone for 9.99 the only thing that sucks about this phone is it's a verizon exclusive like moto what are you doing you know what I'm saying? This 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 device should be carrier wide. I mean, so what? You can get it through Verizon exclusively, or you can get it on the Motorola website. Okay, so if you get it through the Motorola website, there is like financing options available if you don't want to shed out a thousand bucks. Obviously, you know there's there's installment plans in place at Verizon if you want to get it that way. But for all you big ballers out there, you know what I'm saying? That's just chipped in. That can just throw down a hundred bucks, like 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 it's nothing. Then man, just go ahead and cash out, man. I think that this phone is definitely, definitely worth every penny. And you know, I've been using, I've been using the Moto Edge Plus and my OnePlus 8 here. Okay, now you know my Moto Edge. It's like I said, it's a Verizon exclusive, so I can't, and it's locked to Verizon, so I can't take my T-Mobile SIM card out of my OnePlus 8 here and pop it in this Moto Edge and I would do that. So typically I carry two phones because my main number is my T-Mobile SIM card. Okay, and then I have I have a few different lines for Verizon. Um but um you know, I have just one of my one of my numbers from Verizon that I use as well. So typically I'm walking around with two different devices. But um yeah, man, this 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 Moto Edge Plus. I mean, this is this is dope, man. I, I can go on and on about this camera, man. I am very impressed by it. And yeah, you guys see the type of performance that it offers. So sound off in the comments as to what you think about the front facing 25 megapixel sensor on the Moto Edge Plus. And that's where I'm gonna shut this thing on down. You know what I'm saying? So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to expose yourself to tons of more videos that I've done like this one. And be sure to check out my catalog if you're in the market for a new device because I've covered so many different devices, right? I've covered so many phones and stay tuned because I've got so much more content to come. So make sure you hit that notifications bell so that every time my videos get published, you'll get notified. All right? And be one of the first to you know, sound off in the comments and let me know what you think about what you saw in the video. And that's where I'll be chilling at in the comment section responding to questions comments feedback all those kind of things man so much love to all of my subscribers thank you for rocking with me on this uh, for rocking with me on this journey and continue to do so as the channel continues to grow and build you know it's growing at a rapid rate but i wouldn't be here today if not for you guys so i pray that you guys continue to support and uh, i'm gonna keep doing me by getting my hands on these devices and making these videos for you to help you make an informed decision on what your next smartphone purchase is going to be all right so you already know, man, keep God first in your life, get spiritually fit, and keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. Now, I'm going to shut down the video. I'm going to roll the still shot images. Enjoy the still shot images from the rear and the selfie camera. You know, I always like to bless you guys with some nice little tunes to listen to while the images are displaying on the screen. So, you know, enjoy the little track that I threw up on there, and I'll catch you all in the next video. All right? All right. Peace. Bye.